In just a few weeks, Elodie Pullen's miracle daughter, Minnie, will turn two. She was born 15 months after the shock death of world champ snowboarder Alex Chumpy Pullen. But motherhood isn't the only thing keeping Elodie busy. She's now throwing her support behind a new cause called In Pieces, a global initiative raising money for the Chumpy Pullen Foundation. Elodie and Minnie join us now along with co-creator In Pieces, Ben Johnson. Good morning to you guys. Um, oh, everyone's there. Elle, um, first to you, two big birthdays coming up, of course. Chumpy's in September and Minnie's birthday in October. How will you mark them both? Hey guys, um, yeah, probably we always start our days at the beach, but especially on those special days because we always just feel like chumps down there. So we always do a bit of a walk on the beach and Rummy has a good spin. Um, maybe if it's hot enough, we'll swim. Probably not though, I'm a bit of a pussy when it comes to the cold water. <laughs> um, it's getting warmer. And then we we'll probably just have a bit of a, I think for Minnie's birthday, we'll have a bit of a party here at our house and then with all her little friends. Mm -hmm. And then for Chump's birthday, um, we're actually going to go down to Eden to Chumpy's parents' house and, and um, yeah, have a bit of family time down there because we haven't seen the in-laws for yeah, a few months now. Yeah. yeah, I guess it must be bittersweet yeah. for you, Elodie. It, it, it's, it always is a bit of a yeah. double-edged sword um, and weirdly the further like it's now been three years since Chump's been gone and it kind of actually gets harder to sell to mark these dates because I'm just in less and less shock and like kind of the adrenaline of everything's wearing off and I'm uh, yeah it's just like it's it's really hard to put into words but mm. it definitely that the, the three-year mark that was in July actually was definitely the hardest mm. one yet you would think it would get easier but I think it's harder sometimes yeah. Elle, as as Minnie grows up is she starting to realize more about Chump and and what a legacy he left behind we have um, we, we have a book about Chump that we read. I try and get him to say her name. All, I try and get her to say no. his name all the time. No! <laughs> um, we, I'm just always talking to Minnie about Chump. It's not like this elephant in the room. It's not like one day I'm going to go, OK, I think it's time to tell her about her dad and what happened. It's like it's just constant chat, you know, so not that she's talking yet, but I know she's understanding things. Yeah, yeah. it's just always, always mentioned. There. Ben, we touched on this <laughs> new in initiative, In Pieces, which you're the co-creator. Tell us about it, why it's so important. Oh, it's important because we're raising money for the Chumpy Pullen Foundation for suicide support initiatives. So it's a real special project. We've, we've taken an, an artwork from a legendary Australian tattooist, Gummy Johnston, who's been impacted by suicide himself. And we're overlaying it on a 250 piece puzzle. Um, people purchase the puzzle piece, have it tattooed on them, and it's a sign of um, connectedness. And um, it's been really well received so far. It's, um, it, it's yeah, when it's all rolled out, it's going to be really, really special. From after the 250 pieces is done in Sydney, we're actually going to Los Angeles and London and New York. Mm. Um, and it forms a, a part of a bigger 3,000 piece puzzle. It's yeah. a glo global issue. Um, around suicide. That's a great idea. The foundation does great things. We saw Blake and his surfing world record last yeah. year and, and how that all happened. Elle, why is this one important to jump on board with? Well, it's not... Obviously, Chump didn't pass away from suicide, but mental health was something he really empathised with. And having the podcast... Having my podcast, Darling, shine with my best friend uh -oh. since Chump passed and talking about grief and everything that comes with that, I'm, I'm finding so many widows coming to me and more often than not their partners are, are passing away from suicide and mm. so it, it's just like a conversation, we just want to talk about it more and mm. yeah, yeah, this absolutely. is just, I, I just really hope we can spread the word and kind of unite together in this. Yeah, and we can see you getting the tat as well. What yeah. a great idea. It's really different good. and it is doing so much good. Good on you for jumping on board. And we really appreciate your time this morning. You are one special woman, Elodie. Oh, thanks, guys. I hope you guys are getting a tat too. Oh, that's that challenge to Nat, first. I think. Yeah. There you go. Um, ben, thanks <laughs> Thank for coming you, in and giving us a bit of insight into it as well. Appreciate it.